beautiful people how are you guys um it has been a while since i uploaded um so quite a bit has happened um i got new glasses um um my fiance oh that's right i got i got engaged i don't know if i told you guys probably not because it's been it's been crazy um but my fiance's friend that was living in our basement moved out um my daughter um she's been in and out of the hospital with ear infections like a lot like a lot lately so um she's going to have surgery um in january like really soon to have tubes put in her ears which she previously had but she's gonna get a new set of tubes to hopefully help with the ear infections um i finally caught covid and i only say it like that because i i was in shock like I, just knowing the way i worked through the worst part of the pan pandemic like just you know trenching through um like the worst of it and not getting sick and then um what was it like last week um nathan my fiance ended up getting strep and he was home um and like he got he went to the doctor and everything and you know he he was pretty bad like he was throwing up everything but um they put gave him strep medicine and he went to work the next day and i had my days off because i've stepped down out of my position right so i'm like oh i'm sick i probably have strep because you know that makes sense and so i go to the doctor and i'm like i need strep medicine please I'm like, I'll just take the, the antibiotics and be at work the next day. I'm like, everything will be great. And like, you know, that makes sense. My my partner, the person I am with 24-7 um, has strep. So like, I should have strep, right? So I go to the doctor and they're like, no, you, you have COVID. And I'm like, what? So I had to take a five-day leave. And then he gets sick with COVID. So he has to take a five day leave. But yeah, I finally, I finally got COVID and I'm like, what? But, um, what else has happened? Um, I don't know. I don't, um, I guess planning the wedding, um, Nathan wants, he wants me to wear a green dress, um, and his mom wants it to look kind of like Princess Fiona, which, you know, I don't care. I, I didn't really have a wedding, um, the first time I got married, so, you know, I'm not, like, I mean, would it be nice? Yes, but I'm not like the person that's gonna stress over not getting one. Um, he wants us to have a roller rink for the reception, which would be super fun. Um, but again, like, you know, if we just went to City Hall, I'm I'm not upset, but it, it's something he would like. Um, <sighs> In the last few months, a lot has happened, and it's all stuff that, like, it just... <sighs> the purpose of today's video. Um, there's a lot that needs to get done. Um, I'm not sure how much is going to get done, because my energy level here lately has been zero, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to put that on myself. Like, I'm just going to... I know what I have to get done. And if it gets done, great. If not, whatever. <laughs> it's just not... I'm just not worrying about it right now. I've... 
I'm just not gonna lie about it. So, um, the, my bedroom, we're trying to move to the basement, but right now we want to try the bed, just the bed. Um, and the plan originally was to redo the basement and just put the bed down there. Um, but like I was previously relaying, I don't know when that, oops, <laughs> I don't know when that would happen. So we kind of just want to move it down there and see how it goes. I suggested just the bed and leave the rest of the bedroom upstairs until um, we see how it goes and if we like it. And then if we do, we'll be moving my daughter's room to our room because it's the biggest room and my son's room to my daughter's room because it's a big room. And then making my son's room into a craft room because my son's current room is tiny mini school like itty bitty and um the room we currently have and my daughter's room are like actual size rooms and like with I feel like my daughter should have the biggest room because she has more stuff but also that's kind of the way girls are like they end up with like she has a makeup vanity um the dollhouse, stuff like that, and boys kind of end up with more, like, video games and, like, soccer ball or whatever. I, I mean, if something changes, like, you know, whatever, no big deal. They're still both big rooms, but girls tend to have more big furniture. So, that's that was the idea. We're not sure yet, but, yeah. Um... The house is a disaster, so we could clearly use, like, a cleaning in the house. But I'm not going to pressure myself to do more than I'm willing to do because I, like I said, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm just wore out. I don't know if it's, like, remnants from COVID or if I'm just getting old. Let's hope... It's COVID because, um, that's sad, but yeah. Our basement does need to be redone. There's, I mean, it's not great, but, <clears throat> um, it's also a disaster from the kids playing and a friend living down here for a while. So, um, first thing I need to do is just clean it up. Honestly, that's, I mean, I've got, I, I need to um, clean up the space because it is a disaster at the moment and then go from there. I'm not 100% sure where I want to do or what I want to do or anything, but I know it's got to be done. So let me give you a wind down of what the space looks like at the moment, because like I said, it's kind of been a dumping ground for storage and then also having somebody live down here who didn't really live down here. I mean, he lived down here for a while, but then like he moved out and kind of was just staying here occasionally. And so things just kind of got out of hand. So yeah, let me, let me show you what we're working with and we'll see what we can get done. I think I'm going to start by moving I think I'm going to start by moving that over um I'm not quite 100% sure but part of me kind of wants the bed over in this area um I don't know I think I'm going to move it over to this area by the um washer and dryer, so I've got to clean this area first.
Yesterday, my brother ended up coming over because he got into an accident recently and um, my fiance went and towed his or picked up his car and brought it to our house. So his insurance is asking for pictures and everything else like that. Um, so he came to, to our house to take more pictures of his car. And while he was here, he... <laughs> He helped me move um, most of the bedroom down to the basement. And so um, he doesn't really like being on camera. Like there's a few shots where he's in it. Um, but I didn't really get to record everything because he just doesn't like being on camera. Um, so not all of it was recorded. And then this morning I folded laundry and I just kind of spaced about the fact that I'm um, vlogging or recording or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I did like four la uh, loads of laundry. I folded them, um, which you seen me washing yesterday while I was trying to clean and move stuff. <sighs> but um, yeah, I didn't, I, I forgot to film. So especially since I've been off for so long, like it just didn't register my brain. I just, everything seems to be off here lately. Um, I'm exhausted. The motivation is not there. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you understand. It's just, ugh. Um, the motivation to put up the Christmas tree wasn't there this year. I literally put it up like three days ago. And by me, I mean, I put the tree together and let the kids do all the decorating because I just I just don't have any motivation for anything at the moment um I also did a load of dishes um and I'm about to have a coffee but I just I go back to work tomorrow and I literally work till Christmas Eve um I have not wrapped any Christmas presents. Uh, we have barely gotten started on any of the Christmas presents as far as buying them because we we just got sick and we've been so busy. So, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> um, I can show you what our bedroom looks like at the moment. It is like our the the bedroom we just moved out of I can show you what it looks like right now um it's dirty there's dust bunnies everywhere and then I can show you what our new bedroom looks like um I think it's so weird because our bed is not against a wall right now um but our basement is just one big open space because like I said it hasn't been redone or anything so it's qu quite literally just a big open space. And like our bedroom TV is pressed against the wall. And originally I had the dresser on the open side with the TV on top of it. And I was like, oh, I don't know how comfortable I am with that. So then I turned the bed around to be on the big open space. And it's actually kind of against the water heater but not really um just because one um it feels weird to have the bed just not against anything but two um we have like support poles beams whatever you want to call them holding up the ceiling and um like in order to keep us from running into them or whatever I tend to place furniture right next to them so that way um like obviously you have to walk around you can't just walk into it um not that we are that silly but um back when our kids played down there um they'd like to grab onto it and spin around it which we were not comfortable with so like when we put the other couch downstairs we put the couch between two of the poles 
and then put a shelf on the other side of the couch. That way, like, one, we had shelving that we could use in a convenient sp spot, but also, like, there's a big piece of furniture right there, and you're not going to be swinging around the pole. So then, on the other side is our bed. It's, it's difficult to explain, but I'll show you guys. So, like I said, um kind of a mess right now we don't have any closet space downstairs so our closet's still up here um stuff got shoved in here out of the way um but pretty much that is what our room is looking like at the moment um this will probably become my daughter's room if everything works out because it is the biggest room and I feel like girls just acquire more than boys do, and it would make more sense. This is my daughter's current bedroom, um, and this will probably end up being my son's room once my daughter moves into our previous room, because at the moment, he has a very small bedroom. This is my son's current bedroom, and we're thinking about making this my craft room, office, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's a very small room compared to the other two. So if everything works out with um, the bedroom situation and, like, we enjoy being downstairs, this will turn into my office space, my craft room. Well, it's Thursday morning at, like, 5.07. I completely forgot to continue filming, so um, we're just, you know, next part of this vlog, I guess. I have work this morning. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready because, um, I mean, I wouldn't care to go to work like this, but I have a Christmas party afterwards. Um, but first, I want to show you what our room looks like now because it's kind of in shambles at the moment. I have to finish putting it all together, but yeah. So, I still need to figure out what to do with this. It's an extra mattress that we have. I don't want to get rid of in case, you know, we need it. But the living room, the downstairs living room, couch, rug situation, my makeup desk, the bed, which like I said before, it's weird not having it against a wall or anything, but this was the best solution I could think of because we have a shower over there um, and obviously a bunch of furniture over there, but also it's like, it's pretty right, wide to have it all the way across wall to wall. So, this is what we're working with. I'm not too mad. I, I think it's weird that the bed is not against anything, but um, I still have to finish putting my makeup that's on my deep freeze over there in this space, but um, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to get ready for work and have a beautiful day. <laughs> this is not a makeup video, but I am, I just so happen to be getting ready in said video. So <laughs> welcome to my dungy basement. Um, and yeah, let's get ready for work. I probably had the most awful night of sleep, by the way. I love my dog. I do. I very much love my dog. But that damn dog prances around all night. She's deaf and blind, so like her days and nights are mixed up. And all you hear all night is her toes clickety clacking across the floor all night. All night. All night. Damn, I'm beautiful. Look at that. Anyway. <sighs> I'm not ready to go to work. I'll tell you that. But, you know. I think we're going to go with like a warm, smoky eye. That's what's on my mind. So, we're going to try that because it's been stuck in my mind for a couple of days now. So. That's what I want to do. 
warm, like orangey brown, smoky eye. Not really my hair. If you guys have any advice on moving my room around in a way that you guys think I would like it better, please let me know because I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a design guru expert. I don't know. And I don't hate it the way it is, but I also don't love it. I don't know. And so I'm just hoping, you know, something changes. I don't know. Oh, things got a little crazy at work yesterday because of the snowstorm that was supposed to hit. And so, like, the whole end of my day was a disaster as far as, like, running around like a chicken with my head cut off and feeling like it just was never ending. Um, but hopefully today will be better. Hopefully people will decide to stay in. Um, but I know that's not the case. As soon as it starts snowing, people start freaking out and they want to stay in. But as soon as the snow has laid down, everybody gets brave, at least in Kentucky. They're weird. Like, people in Kentucky are weird as far as driving goes. I was, I was gonna try and sneak out in my hoodie and just like my regular clothes to show you guys, but it is way cold. Oh, I hate the cold weather. <laughs> I am not, I'm not built for it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not a cold person, but this is a lot of snow for people in Kentucky. They freak out. So here, let me show you. Oh man, it's cold. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, the first time we ever had snow in Kentucky after moving from Illinois, I was like, that's it, that's it. But um, after you've been down here for a while, you realize that y'all, they don't really get a whole lot of snow, like ever, so um, they, they freak out and panic as soon as they get any type of snow because they're not used to it. And um, it turns them all into gigantic idiots. I'm sorry for the angle of this camera. I'm trying to make some coffee. It is freezing outside. Um, I also hear a lot, you're from Illinois, you should like cold weather. No, absolutely not. No. That's not for me. So, I'm going to sit down and enjoy a little bit of coffee before I've got to go to work. I'll check back in with you guys later work was super freaking crazy um we had like 70 call-ins first thing in the morning and um don't get me wrong we had a dream team and like we rocked that shit but <laughs> it was super hectic and we only took 30 minute lunches and we were just it was crazy okay so by the time it was time to leave my feet are killing me. I am tired. Uh, I just... <laughs> I feel like... Blech. Just blah. I'm exhausted. Um, we have, like, nearly nothing wrapped right now for Christmas. It's... <laughs> I don't even know, you know. Um, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so that'll be fun. Um, I'll be off by like four tomorrow, so that'll be good too. I'm just tired, y'all. I'm tired. It feels like this entire year has flown by and I'm just... I'm not ready. <laughs> not ready for any of it. I feel like the end of the year has just kind of smacked me in the face. You know? Anyone else feel like that? I'll show you what's going on in my living room right now because it's not pretty. It's it's not pretty. And I am I'm exhausted. I don't even want to move. I just want to sleep in this chair. Honestly, I'm so tired.
Yeah. Well, we still have Christmas with my family later today and then Christmas with my fiance's family, but we got to open our presents. <laughs> my new Tindo. What else did you get, sissy? Huh? What else did you get? Um, a mirror. I mean, a light thing for a mirror. A ring light? Yeah. Yeah. Bobby, what'd you get? <coughs> what'd you get? I got a tennis light. What else did you get? A fishing pole. What else? Football. Do you like your gifts? Yeah. Yeah, you happy? Yeah, and I love my Taylor Switch. Nathan is currently shoveling snow out of the way oh, for my family. What? I gave you your icon if you have to play on my Tinder Switch, and guess what he said? Thank mm -hmm. you, my Mario. I mean, B. Hold on. Oh man, you pushed. <laughs> oh boy. Wilson is nowhere to be found. So we decided to finish moving the kids' mo rooms around, and uh, we got halfway through hanging our clothes in the uh, Adam's old room when we realized that uh, I don't want to have to move my closet twice. So. We're trying to find a solution to get all the clothes downstairs um, because there's no closet solution at the moment. But at the old house I was living at, I had a makeshift closet on my wall in the bedroom. And I was like, we could go get that stuff. We could, I have to call my sister and see if it's okay, but we could go get that stuff. And then we'd have it. So that's what we did. But uh, someone got their car stuck because Kentucky weather and snow. Um, so Nathan stopped to help somebody and they're trying to get the car out now. So that's what we're waiting on. And I will show you because it is the day after Christmas and um, we're trying to be productive, helpful people. He's got a hitch. Ah. We're on our way back to the house. My toes are cold and wet. And we are going to try Not and finish. Perfect. Try and finish uh, putting our bedrooms together. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. All right. So far, this is we are. Oh, this is where we are on the rooms my daughter's we've kind of got her furniture everywhere but we've got to clean out the bottom of the closet <clears throat> we have to move her um, bar down so she can reach it that way um, she can hang up her own clothes and put them back away um, this is my son's room we've got to take all of my daughter's clothes out of her room are out of his room and put them in her room, but we're waiting to move the, the bar down. Then we've got to move his bar down and put his clothes up <clears throat> again so he can reach the bar. Set that on that nifty little stool there. And then this is the craft room so far. The rest of the this house. Is man who's pee. The rest of the house is a absolute disaster at the moment. Mm, we have to fix her dresser; it's falling apart. And then all of Christmas is still all over the house, so it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess.
So I'm sitting here um, shaking up a salad to eat in a minute. And um, I got my coffee. I'm about to start, that doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, about to start uh, folding laundry and I realized I did not finish my vlog or whatever you wanna call it. So um, I will show you what we have for my closet right now because it's, um, it's definitely not perfect, but it is a million times better than what we had going on. And actually, I have a lot more space down here for my closet than I had upstairs because um, like it was a actual closet and this one I can expand the pole and I, I just have more room to see what I have and look at and it's actually kind of nice for me anyway. But um, I have the laundry going and I'll show you. So I, obviously I haven't turned on the projector till now to see that that was wrong, but um, yeah, definitely a lot more space than what I had before. Um, my son came back from his dad's house the other night and he threw up all over the stairs and he's been sleeping in our room on a little pallet on the floor. Um, he actually threw up in bed and I had to switch the sheets, but this is his old bed. So he actually has like backup sheets backup, mattress protectors, all that. So it's actually been kind of nice. But yeah, he's been camping out down here with us. And um, my fiance got my side of the closet done. Now we just gotta get his side of the closet done. But I am actually very happy. Um, it's holding up quite nicely. I have tons of space. I can actually flip through my clothes and see what I want to wear. Whereas before, like, um, we had twice as many clothes because this is what I have and he had nearly about the same amount of clothes So that was all jam-packed into one closet about this size It's it's nice. So anyway with my son getting sick the other day and then again the next morning um, I'm doing an overload of laundry and now I've got to fold it all and now that I actually have a closet to hang things up I need to start putting up all of my <laughs> closet so that is what I will be working on this afternoon. I'm sorry it wasn't a more interesting video, but y'all haven't seen me in forever, and so. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Um, I'm sorry it was so hectic. I'm sorry if half the video is terrible or most of the video is terrible. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, Christmas was crazy. Um, I would do a present haul, but I mostly got fuzzy socks. Um, my fiance got me a robot vacuum, which has been a huge help. Um, and a beautiful powder blue um, Carhartt beanie. And then um, I got some snow pants and some pillow covers from my... Um, ex-husband's mother and some footy pajamas which are super cute and I will probably most likely definitely be wearing more than once <laughs> but uh thank you guys so much I love you all and I will see you guys in the next video